I have been trying to make this film for more than 11 years now. I had done theater, including the piece that you're about to see turned into film here, and I love my grandfather's work. He really deserves to be more recognized for all the amazing work that he has done throughout his life. And so I said, you know what? I'm a film geek, so why don't I put this into spin? It's not easy to translate from live theater to movies, basically because in movies, the camera moves, and in theater, the people move. <laughs> So, it's, it's not an easy thing at all, but I think that David Bale's done a great job. And so that's what I did. I got a group of friends together. I like that it's a, uh, I love acting, and it's, uh, it's a great outlet for me to um, sort of put myself out there to, uh, to do what I love and uh, what I'm passionate about. That I can take the bus to Portland from Biddeford. Hanging out with all of my goofy friends. I just hang out with different people. You know, who enjoy filming and art and, and everything else that goes along with it. It's a great way to um, meet a bunch of new friends, um, hang out with your really good friends, um, and just have a fun time on scene. <laughs> hang out with friends, have a good time, making movies. <laughs> yeah, with friends. I like the scene where we're all lying down and uh, we're <laughs> pretending all to be like uh, like disoriented and uh, we're like, it's like Gladius and all of a sudden, Baltanius, yeah. I don't know, just we all came together and we did it. Uh, hanging out with friends. Maybe this part, right? All the bloopers. I like the bloopers, yeah, I the guess, the funny. <laughs> and there was plenty of them. There's so many retakes we had to take. I would have to say that was my favorite part. Yeah, the bloopers and also just enjoying the film. We shot the whole movie within probably an acre of land. But also the, the, the tomb, the tomb doesn't really exist there. anywhere <laughs> except for... Yeah, we, we, used, um, we used shooting blue screen and CGI. And, and, uh, along with uh, Adobe After Effects. Yeah. The blue screen elements did not work out originally as shot. They were, when I first blue screened them, they were very glitchy looking, and so I had to use a seven day example or trial of Adobe After Effects and work my behind off before it would pop <laughs> right now. Because I had to go frame by frame and cast a mask around me frame by frame and move the mask. As for the editing, it was, uh, I used a program called HitFilm Express. It's a free editing software from the internet. I also used a um, Pinnacle uh, uh, Studio uh, 20, I believe. And for a lot of it, because the whole thing was overdubbed. Yeah. Because yeah. constant traffic in Portland does not make good biblical yeah. movies. And then also, I used uh, Final Cut Pro uh, to tighten things up. I have been fascinated by home video and movies since I was probably, what, eight years old or something? I'm now 34, almost. And I remember making, you know, home videotape movies, when if any of you can remember home videotape, <laughs> in my own backyard using puppets and such. I'm going to have to transfer those because they're a history of... And then, what inspired me to start my own movie? Well, this suit jacket that I'm wearing is a part of it. I had a very dear stepfather by the name of Peter B.B. Lawson, who was obviously my mom's husband, but, and for years he and I would do little home videos together. We used his camera, but unfortunately in 2007 he was driving the fire truck, tanker truck on the way to a fire and went off the road and passed away, but he's the actual one who gave on a little videotape that he made of all these frog and toad adventure little stop motion animations that were pretty bad by today's standards uh, that he and I had made together. 
He wrote on the bottom of it, by veil visions. And that's something that he came up with, and I have stuck with the name ever since in his honor. And this is even his tux jacket that I'm wearing tonight. There's a million things that have made me a better director. I think it's gonna, he's going to just go sailing past anything I've ever tried to do. I think the aspect of um, learning how other people work, what their limits are, what their and learning to see how can I work with these people. We had so much patience learning on this production. We couldn't get through a single long line, and that's why you saw it cut in the way it did, because I had to do a lot of reaction shots so I could piece the lines together. Because otherwise, there'd be a lot of next part, <laughs> Next part. Next part. Yeah, I decided I'll, uh, I'll, uh, if you need me in the next one, then I'll, uh, I'll offer my services to, uh, the next future project. Yes. All the way. Yes. Absolutely. For sure, yeah. Yeah, we do intend to be part of future projects, and that will involve taking plus production.